Thanks. Um, just um, the, the fiscal transparency chapter by the controller and auditor general, I think, was July last year. What specific progress has been made since then, up to now? Uh, the specific progress that has been made, I suppose, is the work we've done with the Euro Com European Commission to set up this project uh, under the Structural Reform Support Service uh, Initiative. So we saw that as a very, that was something that we had in our mind as we looked at the way forward. But that's a, a very significant response to the, the sort of deficits in financial reporting that the CNAG highlights in, in, in this report and would be an important part, indeed a critical part of our response to that issue. In the absence of that type of work, and I mean I'm not criticising the IMF work, but I mean it's a team over for a week or two, it's high level, they're looking at best practice and saying this is the direction of travel in terms of what you should be trying to do in terms of fiscal transparency and fiscal reporting. But the point is, when you look at a system as complex and as large as the government accounting system, you really need a deep dive, a granular analysis to come to a clearer view of what's actually involved here in taking what we currently do, mapping it against detailed international accounting standards, and then uh, trying to find out where the gaps are with a view then to, to following through on those gaps. I understand that, and I'm not, I mean, I'm no expert, and I, I, I'm guided by experts in relation to this, but my job is to ask questions in relation to progress. Mm. So since this chapter in July 17, you've set up? We've been continued to engage with the Commission on the establishment of this. Okay. this. But the, the IMF was 2013. Mm. These recommendations were made in 13, mm. so that's five years ago. So was most progress made following the Controller and Auditor General's chapter? Oh no, uh, Deputy, there was yeah. a group, it was before my yeah. time, there was yeah. a group set up following government decision when the fiscal transparency report yeah. was brought to government. Okay, and so the progress was made then and in and relation so if you, to the, if budget, you look, the budget process, gets all the greens, gets all yeah, the if you look at the green, the yeah, green I see that. and, and I have orange it here dots, that's, that's the work okay. that was done in that no, two-year period. So I we're think. given a great tick to the budget process, it has mm, improved yeah. significantly and there's just three outstanding recommendations. That's what right. are those three? Uh, what, if you just reference yeah. what, the water. Well, I'm just looking at uh, in relation to the diagram 5 1. 5 1. And the budget process gets all the greens. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. sorry, you've the yeah. three greens yeah. there, yeah. We have all the greens. The yeah. We have three orange. I said orange. I'm a bit colour blind, I think. Can't make out if it's orange or red. But in any event, what are those three? Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at 5A, B, C. I'm looking at the figure 5 1. Figure 5 1. Yeah. Um, it's just setting out the progress from the Controller and Gen Auditor General's chapter. Okay. So, recognition of wider range of assets and liabilities. Yeah. And maybe yeah. we yeah. we should have done a, a kind of a, a cross-referencing. Uh, I, I don't actually have the cross-referencing with me. Uh, I mean, certainly yeah. the, the aim of um, um, the, the diagram was to give a, a kind of an overview of where the, uh, the, the thing um, uh, had been progressed uh, best. The, the annex uh, contains the individual, uh, the 35 individual actions. Um, but, it, but it doesn't code them as being budgetary process or uh, financial reporting. That, two that, two of those have. red dots are, well, as, as I look at it in, in the version that we have here, um, the issues were, one of the issues highlighted was recognising the accrued pension liabilities of public servants. And there's been a, a very substantial programme undertaken of work in deeper in light of an EU regulation to quantify what... Um, our accrued pension liabilities are, and I think that was reported on late last year. So that's a very, uh, it's, it's, built, it's, it's work that's done every couple of years, but there's more, uh, now a more recent statement of what uh, accrued pension liabilities are for public servants, uh, which responds to this issue that the IMF highlighted that we didn't have a, as good a handle as we should have on it. The, the other issue that arose was the uh, recognition of, uh, as, of liabilities associated with PPPs, and although under Eurostat rules we're not required, and you know, obviously Eurostat guide how we report uh, in terms of, of things like PPPs, but there's uh, significantly more information now available on the liabilities uh, that arise from the uh, from, uh, from 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 PPPs uh, now published and in the public domain, deputy. So that's two gaps that the IMF uh, identified: PPPs and pension liabilities. 
piece again. I just that was a little bit quick for me to understand. I understand the pensions. What yeah. The so, um, so we're in. So is, since 2013, there's been enhanced financial reporting about PPPs on our website, and details are now publicly available for all central government PPP projects. So we know. Uh, what we've paid up to now in terms of, of unitary payments to PPP partners and we know what we'll have to pay in the period that the PPPs will be paid off. So that information is all available and it was something that the uh, that obviously that the, uh, the IMF, uh, when they were looking at our accounts, said was, was missing back in 2013. Okay. And in, re in relation to the shared services that you've referred to, the financial management shared yeah. services, is there a deadline for the completion of that work? Yeah, that's uh, a very structured, very detailed, very comprehensive What's the deadline project for plan. The completion? Pardon? What's the deadline for the completion? I, uh, I'm not, uh, I know that the first movement across in terms of financial management shared service is, is, is happening this uh, this year, I think uh, Deeper and certainly the Department of Finance will be coming in under the system at that point in time. In terms of the end point, I'm sure it's programmed into their plan, but I mean it will depend on progress as they work through the 40 public service bodies that are that are, will be brought in under the single financial management shared service. But I will. Um, because I don't have the information with me, Deputy, shared it with the committee in terms of what the sequencing of public bodies is expected that, to be. That's important, is it? Because you've said that's one that, yeah. that has to be done first before you make yes. decisions. So, roughly, when will that be made? Just, I mean, just the date. No, sorry. Uh, the, the, the project board meets on the go live. This will happen in five waves. The first wave will be ourselves, Department of Public Expenditure, the control node in general, um, Department of Teaching, uh, a number of relatively small offices, and that will go live um, in the next six to eight months. I think this, there, there's um, it's been it's it's the level of preparedness and readiness has been done now, and then there'll be five waves. I think in total thereafter over a period of about eighteen months, bringing um, a lot of the larger spending departments in. Two years. About, about that timeline, yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, it is the biggest change in the financial platform that the state's seen in a very long time. Going, to I, yeah. you, see, you see, the recommendations were made, and, and we're not experts. And then you say these are difficulties, and you can't go to. And I understand that from cash to the accrual basis, and you have to look at it. And you said clearly the first thing, the big thing, is to get the financial shared management. And so we've heard details on that before, and the, nothing can happen till that's done. No decisions can be made. Well, I think there'd be very huge risks in no, no, trying to move to accounting no, 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 without that. having that in place. No, but I think, sorry, to answer your question, yeah. Deputy, yes, yes, FMSS will need to be in place Great. or ready to. Lovely. So and actually, I'll, sorry, just to yeah. be something that I should be clear about, FMSS will be able to do this whether government decides it wants FMS to report on an accrual basis or not. Yes. So within taking the Secretary General's. Uh, timeline in, in, in a two-year period, that integrated system will be there, which can report on, an, on a, on a cruel basis. So now, decisions can't be made till that's ready, and that won't be ready for two years more. That well, I'd expect, Deputy, that on the basis of the work that, the, uh, that we'll do under the, the Commission Structural Reform Support Service, that we'll be, at that point in time, uh, taking stock uh, with a view to advising the Minister and Government in due course on what the advice is okay. on whether we should move, which, whether we should make that jump no, in due I, course. I'm leaving the decision alone. I'm just yeah. asking what are the preliminary steps. Okay. And this is a preliminary step, and that won't be completed for at least two years, is it? Or am I exaggerating? Is it? I think it's probably correct. Okay, I mean, that's okay. That's I mean, okay. I, just, I mean, I mean there's, when you change from one financial no. management platform to another, there's big risks, and you I'm need not, to make sure it works. I'm not criticising. I'm simply no, no, I'm, 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 I'm only I'm seeking to, to establish the facts. That's yeah. all. And just finally, d d d d d when the IMF said these, if they were non-obligatory, you didn't have to follow them. Did you accept most of them? And have you gone back to the IMF to say, we can't do this? We, well, we, we can't we had do a, this. What interchange yeah, well, has we, there we, been we, since 2000? When the IMF were over to do the assessment of uh, our uh, public capital investment system in summer, the, in the, during the summer, they ran a seminar to kind of take stock of progress in implementing their that? report. Last year. Last July. Okay, yeah. And uh, I, I think they concluded that in, in, in retrospect, because they're learning as well as they undertake this, this work, that Ireland is one of the stronger performers internationally in terms of fiscal transparency. So they were, I suppose, recalibrating their understanding of what the, the baseline is. 
Um, so uh, I, I think that was reassuring to us that we haven't sort of fallen behind or that we're still kind of uh, well, keeping, maintaining the pace in, in terms it's of improving taxes. It's not reassuring to me, you see, just in this way, and I don't, if the IMF say this, and if you're happy to go with it, mm. but you're not really, there must be a procedure where you go back and say, this is, this, you've set targets here that we can't achieve, or you've set recommendations that we can't yeah. achieve. I think that the IMF were painting a picture for us and certainly identifying areas that we needed to up our game in, okay. and we, we've done that. But I mean, it wasn't, it was a very kind of collaborative and collegiate exercise. And when you talk about, they made recommendations, and those recommendations relate to very important parts of public financial management. But not every recommendation that an international body makes in the course of looking at an issue over a week or two, that when, it, when, it, when it's looked at further, uh, not, not every recommendation is going to no, sort of be, be easy to implement. That. I'm not, and I'm no fan of the IMF, and I accept that. It's just the, the time span. At some stage, you have to say, it's now 2018 to the IMF. No, we're not following that because it doesn't make sense or it doesn't make financial sense to us, you know. Well, they, 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 I suppose they know since last July from that seminar where we stand in terms of our plans in improving fiscal transparency. Okay. Just in terms of the left final, sorry, and I thank you, Chair, just in terms of, um, I think there was one recommendation into consolidating the financial statements. In term, I forget what it was, actually. Consolidation of the finance statement and the appropriation accounts. That's right. Yeah, it comes up all the time in other situations as well. Thank you. Yeah. But do you're do saying you that requires legislation. Legislation. But do you accept that? Uh, no. No. Oh, sorry, uh, the um, uh, one, uh, it's our own Secretary General that constantly highlights this point to me, he believes that the reporting is fragmented at present. And uh, in the context of looking at updating the legislative framework more generally as we look at improving fiscal transparency, I think certainly more consolidation. Our experience to date, the more we consolidate to the extent we can, the better it is. So it's very much a recommendation. It, it doesn't suit our purposes and it certainly doesn't suit uh, the accountability and the transparency objectives that we have that financial reporting is, is, would be regarded as fragmented. That, that's the, uh, sorry, but, uh, sorry, Chair. The... Yeah, I, I think the, uh, the, the point, uh, consolidating uh, two sets of financial statements isn't replacing them. It's, it's uh, if, if you like, it's an extra um, presentation. So, for instance, and, and uh, I, I think that the recommendation there, it's on page 74, um, uh, recommendation 1B, combine the finance accounts uh, and appropriation accounts into a consolidated central government uh, financial uh, statement. There are other um, uh, accounts which uh, might be comprehended in that as well. So, for instance, social insurance fund, local government fund, national training fund. Um, and possibly the revenue accounts as well, de depending on the level of information that, that you wanted. The, the point is that any of these on their own don't give you a comprehensive picture of what the state is taking in or what the state is spending. And I, I think that there is scope um, to, uh, to produce a consolidated um, uh, statement, um, wh which would be subject to, uh, to audit and so on. Um, I don't think it's necessary, uh, absolutely necessary, that there would be a statutory underpinning of that. Uh, it, it could be something that uh, would be done in the context, let's say, of producing the central fund of the exchequer. There could be other information, uh, consolidated information presented with that, uh, which would be helpful and, and useful for the committee and for others who want to get a snapshot of, of what the position is. Thank you. Just, you accept that? Yeah, I mean, it would certainly, because uh, as you can see from the, the response to that recommendation, there was a, a, an exercise carried out at a point in time to see on an administrative basis what a consolidated statement would look like, and in the, against the backdrop of the ongoing work with colleagues in finance and in deeper, we can see what scope there is for, for revisiting that work, and uh, as... as uh, 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 just what's the time scale for that? What is the time scale for a given consolidated account? Well, I, I think the, the, the view very much was when we did that informal exercise that the full benefit would only be realised in the context of the implementation of the, of the FMSS. But if the CNAG is saying okay. that there is scope for, for, uh, for looking at this issue on an ongoing basis, well, you know, it's, it's something that obviously we have to take into account, particularly in light of the work of that group now that's been... Is, is soon to be established the working group to, to improve the, 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 the to prove the presentation of the accounts that I referred to earlier. Thank you. Last speaker on this topic.